Hello everybody, Frank Sullivan, Mad Scientist here. I just wanted to show you something. Uh, I got this big slab of aircrete. And as you can see, it's about six inches thick. It's been curing for a while. I wanted to see how hard it actually got over time. And it's definitely a lot harder than it was prior to whenever uh, you know it cured for a day or two. Uh, so it's quite interesting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tear this thing apart and I'm going to use a saw on it and just see, you know, consistency in what, where, when, and how. Now, this is an interesting thing because you literally can make walls like this. If you put a, you know, piece of plywood here, poured it, this whole thing could be a wall. This is half of a uh, piece of plywood, so it would be taller and you can make a solid wall of this stuff. Of course, you'd have to have channels. You just drill a hole here and put in conduit for your electrical. But this would be awesome. R45 and completely fireproof. Soundproof, uh, you know, insect proof. It's pretty cool stuff. Uh, anyways, uh, this is the uh, foam version which is a little heavier than there's another type, but it takes a kiln to make it. Uh, but this is a real simple way to do this. Okay, I had to set up a little uh, tripod here, and uh, what I'm going to do is saw this with a regular saw, and we'll see how it goes. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's nice, actually. Amazing. Really cuts nice. In fact, it's similar to the foam. Trying to get through it. All right, look at that. Let's pop this off. Okay, there she be. Look at that. Foam creep. Very cool stuff. Very light. But you can tell it's not quite foam, but not quite <laughs> cement either. Very neat stuff. Just wanted to uh, show that. And I'll do a couple other demonstrations here shortly. Let me set that up. All right, I just wanted to give you a little closer view of this and uh, pretty even, smooth stuff. Uh, right here I have a simple torch. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, yeah. Better if I aim it right. <laughs> pretty neat. Look at that. So... This stuff, I've held a smaller piece and torched it, and it was fine. I mean, I can't really feel much. I can feel a little warmth off of it. On the side here, look at that. It's warm, but it's not overbearing or burning. Completely fireproof. I love this stuff. Uh, and there is a, a way to make it, I mean, you can, it is actually soundproof because it's, it's got all the different uh, holes in it. It's just amazing stuff. So I just wanted to share this with everybody. And it definitely cures a lot harder after about a month, maybe two months. And it's a lot harder than uh, where before I could stick my finger through it. Now it's resisting it. It's still a little bit uh, flaky, so it's good to put a coat over it, something like stucco or something to protect it. But overall, I love this stuff. Uh, really good uh, way to make a whole wall of it and literally insulate your house. In fact, there's calculations on this where if you build a whole house out of this, on average, give or take, your yearly, and I mean yearly, not monthly, yearly heating and cooling would be about three to $400 uh, if you did a heat pump or something like that. Uh, so anyways, just wanted to uh, 
show this rather interesting big wall because I don't think anybody's ever really done much like this. And you can make these panels and just build and keep on building your whole house. Uh, anyways, uh, here it is. Aircrete, pretty cool stuff.